welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my get ready with me on how I did my makeup for the wedding. I only had literally 10 minutes to do my makeup. My ceremony started at 2 and it was 1.30 when I started doing my makeup. It was just a crazy mess that day. I'll talk about my issue with my gallbladder in the Shop Miss A tutorial that I'm going to post next week. I took this little bag with me the day of the wedding. I actually brought everything and had everything in my car the day before. My sister paid for all me and the bridesmaids to get our hair done. So that's all I really had to do that morning. So this is what I had for my makeup, everything in here. It's a mess. It's still the same way it was from the day I did my makeup. I did use the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. I used the AOA Studio Mink Set little holder for all my brushes. And these are all the brushes that I used the day of my wedding. There's a whole bunch of different brushes in here. These are the new AO2 Lab brush. This is the F19 highlighter brush from the AOA Studio. I did use the F14. This is the brush I use for my blush. And then all the eye stuff I'll put over here. I did use the F1 Kabuki brush to blend all my powders and whatnot. I did not use this, but I did have it in there in case I wanted to use it for blush, which is a Hank and Henry, and this is a Nikki brush. I have the F20 here, which I used for my contour, and then I used all these brushes here, which are from Luxie, and these are my main brushes that I use on a daily. I don't use this particularly. I use the AOA Studio one which is the E119 brush. And then I also have just kind of random, I have this one here, which I didn't even use, is the E104 brush. And he looks like that. And that's about it that I used for my brushes. But I did use the Mink Set holder for all of them to keep them together. So I wake up. I was kind of up late getting everything situated for the next day, things that I had to bring that I may have forgotten the day before when we were setting up. I basically had everything I needed ready to go. I did take this with me and my pure cotton rounds from the AOA. So I'm just gonna take my cotton round and just wipe my face down. So my vertigo was messing with me. Luckily, I had some dizziness pills that I could take. So I took those immediately because I had to be at my sister's friend's house by 7.30. I did use the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. Luckily, I kept a puke bag from when I had my gallbladder removed. I was very sick when I came out of that. So we got our hair done. And about an hour after I had been there getting my hair done, I started feeling a lot better. I probably got four hours of sleep the night before. Being a little nervous and just kind of wanting to make sure that everything goes okay because it, there's just a lot. And I did take a picture of all of us with our hair done here. So you guys can see it was so fun other than the fact that I just wasn't feeling good and this is my hair and how it turned out I was really happy all the girls got to pick out what they wanted to do with their hair I didn't care they all had different dresses we just had a big finagle with dresses I just kind of was whatever with the dress like just as long as it's the color that it's supposed to be so I did use the Hyde Concealer for my foundation. It is concealer though. I think that Hyde has come out with foundation, but I still like their concealer. 
I only put a little bit. I don't like to have a lot. It's two o'clock. You know, we got to get going. The men are outside because they had to go outside so that I could come downstairs because the upstairs was inside the chapel. So you would see me coming out if I came down from the upstairs. I used the light neutral in the Tarte concealer. So I hurried up, did my lipstick and rushed downstairs. So as I'm getting everything, I realized that everything was left upstairs, all the bouquets for my bridesmaids and whatnot. And then my sister comes in right before everybody is supposed to start getting into their spots to start walking and she asks for the rings. My heart dropped. It's literally crunch time. We're all rushing. The girls are in the room getting everything going. I've got people wiping me with glitter on my body and it's crazy. So luckily one of my bridesmaids had a gas station ring that someone had given her at the gas station and she said here use this and just keep it for memory you know of today you know <laughs> of just the whole situation i went through a lot to get the rings so i just was really upset that i had forgotten them no rings then i open up the door and notice that nobody's in the foyer area and nobody come in to say hey you know all the men have walked and you guys can start getting yourselves going. And I realized that the music is already on the second song and my girls need to be walking. So I'm like, you guys need to get out there. Let's go. Song's already going. Luckily, we got back on track. I couldn't hear the music. So the coordinator had to go turn the music up. Finally, I could hear. And then everything was fine. I got in my spot. Everybody did what they were supposed to do. So we did pictures after as well. The wedding party stayed. I had, you know, other people that I wanted in the pictures as well that weren't there. It was just a little upsetting. You can't go back in time and get these memories back. I was just a little upset about that. I used my Iconic London. I really wish I would have used my Princess palette. I'm using the F20 brush for my contour and I'm just gonna put this on. It was dark, like as you can see, it was just a tad dark for the shade I went with. And I had to do my makeup super fast, so it didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to. We are going to do a do-over at some point and make sure we have the rings next time. But until then, we're going to think about the things that we did not do right and do them right next time. I did use the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear, which looks like that. I have used quite a bit of it because I love it. It's really good. And I just took my beauty blender and sometimes it opens the wrong side. And I'm just going to fix. I didn't really blend this in too good. And that's another thing. I really didn't get to blend my makeup too much. I just kind of did that. I didn't go all the way down with it. And I took it here. Then we did the F1 Kabuki. And I just went like this. I did do my contour first. And then did my eyes because I was in such a hurry. I kind of did everything in a weird order. All right. And I do recommend this Kabuki to blend your makeup. It's nice and dense and gets your makeup where you need it to go. So other than that, the wedding was great. And I, like I said, I'm not going to be able to get pictures or videos for 60 to 90 days. I won't be able to show you guys any of that maybe a month or something. I don't know. I used this Morphe eyeshadow palette 
and I'll put the name of it here for you because I'm not 100% sure on the name. But these are the colors. I used this color, this color, and this color. So it's the Editorial Selfie and Custom. I'm using the shader brush right here. I did open up a new AOA Studio brush cleaner the day of. So I'm just going to fix, I'm going to have to use this side because one side has powder all over it. Take that custom, which is the lighter color, and I'm just going to pat this onto my eye. I did this exactly like this, kind of using the mirror they had at the place. So I didn't have too much time. So... But other than my vertigo, the rest of the day went pretty good. Nothing went wrong. It wasn't too bad. I'm going to take my blending brush here and I'm going to go into selfie. And I'm just going to take that all the way. I'm going to kind of just take a lot and then add it into the eye. And then I'm going to blend it. Now we're going to start blending. I didn't have a lot of time to blend my makeup either. I kind of just had to do what I could in the time that I had. Then I did take a tutorial and I kind of put that right here to give it a little smoky look in our corner and put it down here at the bottom. I might have taken some of this silver and put it in the corner. I think I might have. And then I did use the AOA Studio Eyeliner. This is the gel and it is in the dark brown. And I did put this on my waterline. And then for my lashes, I used the Fat Lash by the AOA Studios. I did use the AOA Studio Lash Curler as well. It looks like this. And let's do that real quick. I did take my AOA Studio Mirror with, but everything was so crazy that I didn't really have a chance to use a lot of things. All right. So I'm just going to brush the hairs here and then just fill this in. I did use the Easy Set Brow Gel for my brows to set them. I used the AOA Studio Perfect Blush. I did have to cut my nails off, so they're looking a little funky right now. Until I can get the actual nail part off, I broke one and then the next week I broke another one, so. And then I used the Jeffree Star. This is in the Ice Cold. This is my favorite and we're using the F19 highlighter brush to apply this. I wanted to wear lashes, but I didn't. So I do not have time. And if I would have had time, I would have done the lashes, but there was just no time. Okay, and then 
now that I'm done with that, I'm going to kind of blend everything. For my lips, I used these two colors by She Glam. And one color is Bougie and the other one is True Faith. One is like a brown color and the other one is a lighter kind of pinky color. I like dark and then light. Kind of gives you that, you know, really true nude lip. And I just wish Miss A would come back with all their liquid lipsticks because they were bomb. So I put that on and now I'm going to add this pinky before it dries. And then I'm going to take my finger and just kind of blend them in together. And then I used my Morphe setting spray and look for my fan that I've lost. Where did that go? I used it. Oh, here it is. In my Shop Miss A tutorial, I'll tell you guys all about my gallbladder nightmare. I hope you guys had fun getting ready with me and I'll see you on my next one, guys. Bye-bye. Yeah.